Good morning. Um, it's another day. It's, it's mid-morning. It's after nine o'clock. And we're about to set off and ride to Salamanca. Yesterday, PJ was exhausted after the long ride we did. And it was almost a kilometre of up over that ride. And she was adamant we weren't going to do a ride of the same length. So she started mapping out the ride for the next day and agreed to go to Salamanca. I was really surprised. I was because, like, you know, that's almost the same length. Well, it is the same length. And so anyway, we booked the hotel. We're staying there for two nights um, so we can get the computer. And only about an hour after we did it all did she realise she'd made a mistake and it was like twice as long as that she thought it was. <laughs> it was very funny. But we're going to go on a rail trail, so it'll be nice. It'll be lovely. So we've got about half the day on uh, pavement and half the day on a rail trail. So one of the greenways, uh, a, a railway line that's been converted into a bike path. And of interest, when they finish this green rail, it'll go all the way back down to Madrid. So they're actively making this old railway line into a green path that'll go 800 kilometers. So that'll be awesome when it's finished. It's nowhere near finished now, but uh, that's their plan. Okay, so hopefully it'll be good. It looks very cold outside and misty. So we'll see what it's like when we get on the road. <laughs> okay, so we're just about to leave. And I suggested to Charles, you probably need to get some groceries because there's nowhere to stop for lunch. And he said, we've got potato chips, you know, so that's food. <laughs> and also uh, licorice. What else is there, Charles? I think that's it. And I said that potato chips are not food. Like we, food of champions, <laughs> champions. We need some actual healthy food. So we're going to drop, stop at a grocery store on the way through. <sighs> He's not terrible. a bakery, it's terrible. Not a bakery. <laughs> Sure, I do like to show your opinions, talking big like somebody's listening. Nobody's listening. It's so fun and games and till it doesn't toss me out. I'll hit the ignition. Now you listen. Now we have evidence of how cold it is. My poor little fingers and my face, everything's cold. Charlie says it's not cold, he's fine. We have um, 39 kilometers to go. So we had 54 to start off with, so we've come 15 kilometers. So. And we just had lunch. And, and it's 12 o'clock. And uh, we'll probably have one more break before we uh, get there. That's the Aki. We are here. And then we're going to follow this to Salamanca. Okay, we've just got to the rail trail, so it's 20 kilometers. The first six kilometers is all uphill, and then it looks like it's all downhill into um, Salamanca. So the, the path looks pretty good. I mean, it's obviously not as good as road, but it looks okay. And this is a bit of a risk, but we, we have ridden out of our way, quite significantly out of our way, to go on this path. So we'll see. Hopefully the uphill won't be too dramatic. Okay, uh, we're at Salamanca and we're on another Roman bridge. We've ridden about 55 kilometers today so far. And the riding's been a lot easier. The last 20K 
the 22 k's has been on a bike path the last two k's of that has been comfortable okay the rest of the bike path was like little stones and it really hurt my butt a lot this river with the weir and everything kind of reminds me of Rockhampton, the uh, Paris of Central Queensland. So you know the cathedral and everything. Rockhampton to the to the to a T. Okay, if you've never been there, you should visit. It's a beautiful place. You know, and only the best girls come from Rockhampton. What do you think of Salamanca so far, Charles? It's such in good such order and there's so many medieval buildings around. The avenue that's just down there looks magical. And everywhere you look, it's just like awesome. i mm -hmm.